Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Acker Associate. In this section, we are going to learn about storage penetration testing. So we will go to the Azure portal. We will review the Azure storage account and we will see okay, like the misconfiguration okay, in the storage account. So what we can do is we are going to identify the public container if anything is available okay, over the internet. So we are going to learn okay, like how to assess the Azure portal specifically for the storage right so there are four types of storage okay when you check the azure portal one is a uh, container second is a file share we call it as a blob blob container file share table and the queue four types and we'll check it okay how to look okay for the publicly uh, exposed uh, container okay that is basically our main objective okay, for this particular video so let's get started see you in the practical session so you can see clearly like here is basically the portal portal.azure.com when you go here and here is left hand side when you click here you can see clearly there is a storage account available there right when you go to the storage account you can see these are the storage account available when you click here further and you can see these are the four type of data storage one is container file share queues and table right which i already discussed to you now in order to identify like the issues okay in this particular account so how we can identify that is called storage penetration testing anyone uh, i have a full particular program okay available okay under hacker associate website you can go and navigate to ocpd section and here i am explaining everything in detailing okay like how to perform a penetration test okay on azure uh, gcp aws basically multi cloud penetration testing so please check this particular program and if i interested okay please let me know okay and you can check my live uh, session okay directly on twitter so if you are new to this particular channels you can follow these all channels and you'll get all the information completely freely available on my community and my channels okay so let's get started so here what i can do is i need to go to the vps this is my vps server you can see this is a vps which i'm using digital version right i have already recorded a video like which vps is best okay for penetration testing you can go to my youtube channel and you can check it out okay so here okay like right now you can see i'm connected okay to this vps and i'm going to log into the normal account which is called az login so when you use this command with this help of this particular command you will be able to log in okay to the portal right there is basically cli interface okay for the azure so when you press enter it automatically you can see clearly it asking for this one right when i click on this area you can see it is going to this page and i need to enter the particular code like this so you can simply select the code and you can paste here and you can log in once you log in okay like you can see you will get a message like which account you want to log in so this is my account so here the condition is you don't require admin privilege okay we are reviewing right that account so if you have any privilege okay you can log in and you can check so this is basically the area which i don't want to show you here i want to hide this information because of okay uh, public thing okay so i log into the system perfectly and after that what i can do is i can go to my uh, particular framework called opt or i check okay like what folder i am using here so you can see in my case i have a cloud pen test folder and inside this okay like i have blob hunter so if you don't know what is blob hunter you can simply go to the chrome and simply just type here azure blob hunter okay and enter so when you simply click here you can see this is the first repository will come you can simply click on that hunter and you will get information like find exposed data in azure with this public blob container right proper public blob scanner so is we are basically examining that part okay so how to configure it very simple thing is you can do git clone after that okay you can run this command call pip3 install minus r requirement.txt and you can run the command like this python3 blobhunter.py even i already mentioned okay like if you follow me on twitter you can simply go to the twitter and if you just go to the profile area you can go to the community area this is recently i created the community just one day before okay so i am going to add a lot of lot of good resources here inside this so please become a member of this offensive hacking black hat community so here okay if you see i already added okay this particular repository details everything here under that particular twitter channel okay so you can follow me anywhere by the way i have a linkedin i have a youtube i have a medium okay many many channel almost 15 16 channels okay i am running okay so any channel okay you can go and you can basically check each and every activity whatever i am sharing okay to the audience okay so here okay right now you can see i am inside that folder and uh, we can go to the blob hunter 
this is the blob hunter b is capital and then ls minus la so here okay like we have a python 3 and i can simply run okay like blob hunter dot py which is here that's it so this b is capital and then you run this particular framework and you can see it is started and going to show you the misconfigurations what is the main goal i'll show you see what's the main goal when you go here our main goal is this one find exposed data in azure with this public blob scanner and what actually this tool do a open source tool for scanning azure blob storage account for publicly open blob so this blob hunter is a part of cyber, uh, hunting azure blob expose millions of sensitive file research so it will help you to identify azure blob storage container which store files that are publicly available to anyone with an internet connection so i hope you got an idea what we are talking about we are finding the misconfiguration okay in this storage account that is basically the ultimate goal okay so you can see is asking okay like enter y for all subscription i'm telling yes y for all subscription so you can see enter now it's checking all subscription and you can see clearly identify a six resource group to storage account and you can clearly see that okay like check out the public container this one okay for file for the full de uh, detail report so you can see that it found okay two storage account okay which have a public access see found two public containers so if i show you okay from the portal so this is basically the portal this hacker associate if i can click here this is the container and uh, when you simple go to this area right you can click this area and you can check the access level see if this is the anonymous read access is allowed right when you go okay the previous section you can select any container you can select the change access level you can see again container level so in my case i intentionally open this one for demonstration purpose but you can see i have a private hacker this is a private container you can see in the access private no anonymous access right so this how basically you can analyze the storage account as i mentioned for detail uh, learning you can check out this particular program for more information i hope you enjoy the video if you have any question okay please go to the comment section and then write it okay your question i'm Happy to see the comment and I'm going to reply back okay, within 24 hours. Thank you. Have a great day. See you in the next session.